Trey, I don't know what you're doing behind the scenes, but you need to do more. Let me just tell you this. All your secrets are about to be unearthed. And by the way, it's sad that like a lot of the the historical figures in R&B that we assumed were getting all the we're now basically about to crucify just like how people crucified R. Kelly. That Trey Songs doc is going to be crazier than the R. Kelly one. Trey Songs is the most nasty, abusive, beats the out of women. Like he is the scum of the earth. If you ever thought you could surpass an R. Kelly doc, I promise you in 15 years, Trey Songs, his doc will. He's an awful human being. There's an inherent danger in the music sphere, in that while we idolize music, it's impossible for us to ever truly get a grasp on the artists behind it. So, when they fall short of your expectations, or even worse, breach your ethical code, it leads to this age-old dilemma of, can you really separate the art from the artist? A problem plaguing fans from everyone from DaBaby to Marilyn Manson, the issue with trying to reconcile your love for their music with your disgust at their actions has been enough for many people to swear off catalogs of Gary Glitter, R. Kelly, and even XXXTentacion. And while people were in denial about the crimes of R. Kelly for way longer than they should have been, his eventual downfall proved one thing, there's no smoke without fire. But horrifyingly, it seems that R. Kelly may not be the only R&B singer to see his empire turn to ashes. Elevated from fame through his release of his 2005 album, I Gotta Make It, Tremaine has enjoyed a prolific run defined by romantic slow jams and ballads that helped him to amass a passionate, predominantly female audience. Over time, he became a sex symbol to an entire generation of R&B fans. But now, it appears that in tandem with crafting a musical legacy, Trey has allegedly been leaving a trail of destruction and deviancy behind him. And now, he's been dogged by accusations of dubious behavior for years beginning with a general sense that he was all too happy to dehumanize women at a moment's notice. Back in 2012, a stripper told the police that Trey Songs had forcefully thrown a wad of cash at her face, giving her a black eye. In turn, he was charged with misdemeanor assault and harassment. In later years, it was also suggested that after getting into a minor car crash with a woman, he pushed her phone into her face so hard that it shattered her glasses. But while this could have been chalked up to a run-of-the-mill problem with anger issues, the foreshadowing of what was to come can be seen as early as 2015, the very year after Trey scored his second number Number one with Trigger no less. During a radio appearance, pop star BB Rexa discussed a run-in with Trey that seemed to have left her shaken, confused, and above all, scared enough as to worry about what she could disclose. I went to my lawyer's wedding and Trey Songs was there with his date. He was giving me the eye all night and I was like, okay, what's going on? This is weird. I go to the um, the pool house and he literally is at the door and pushes me against the wall mm -hmm. and puts his lips on my lips and is like, let's do this. And I said, no, 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 I'm not trying to do this right now. He was Anyway, something else happened, but I just I'm not gonna say that. But although nothing really came of BB's story, the first real celebrity to call out Trey was Kiki Palmer when she revealed that she'd been coerced into appearing in his music video for the remix of Pick Up the Phone and, in her words, was subject to sexual intimidation. This is preposterous. How am I in this video, Trey? She said after it dropped. After you found me in the closet hiding because I was so afraid of any more conflict. Literally, my last option was to hide because you all would not listen when I said I did not want to be in the video the first time. Just because you give someone food, alcohol, and throw in a little sexual intimidation doesn't mean they will buckle. Yet, you still disrespected me as a young woman, whom you've known since she was 12. In a pattern that would become disconcertingly familiar, Trey responded by essentially trashing her claims, telling Twitter that, baby girl bugging, point blank, period. Got my number, could have called, saw the cameras and the lights, heard action. Despite his attempts to douse the flames, the world was unconvinced, and neither was Kiki, who continued to tell her side of the story whenever possible. What did you mean by sexual intimidation? I mean, just that. I feel, as a female, often I'm put in situations where sometimes males will use their masculinity, their, their sexuality, to taunt you. I hate to have to bring and say that and, and, and make it known, but I mean, look, I ain't the first person that's gone through. People have gone through this all the time. It would be like you going to a party where the biggest jock is there, and the whole time he's like, you can get, you can get screwed, you can get this, you can get that. You ain't no little girl no more. With the incident with the former child star serving as the first major stain on Trey's character that made the news, this essentially opened the floodgates for a whole host of allegations to come to the surface. And at every turn, it pointed to something depraved within the arm be star that bled into all of his relationships. Trey Songs was into me because we were both sick and twisted, and he wanted to do some sick things with me, said an adult star, Brittany Jones. Things other women are ashamed to say out loud. 
In February of 2018, the public outlook on Trey Songz would be permanently discolored after he faced domestic abuse allegations from Andrea Buera. According to reports, Trey attacked Andrea at an NBA All-Star weekend after she spoke to one of his friends. In her testimony, it was alleged that Trey choked her and punched her and only stopped because of a nearby security guard. Soon, Andrea's story prompted two other women to come forward with their own accounts of assault at the hands of Trey. Afterwards, Andrea, who was suing for medical expenses, made a heartfelt plea to her former friend rather than being vengeful, simply wanting him to better himself. I want you to get help, and although I'm not your first victim, I'd like to be your last. While his alleged temperament was one thing, it soon emerged that his violence was reportedly sexual in nature too. In an incident that stemmed back two years prior, an anonymous woman reported that Trey Songz had assaulted her in a Miami nightclub and tried to sue him for $10 million. According to court documents, Trey was alleged to have sexually and battered Jane Doe by proceeding to forcefully place his hand under her without her consent and attempted to insert his fingers into Jane Doe's without her consent or permission. Due to allegations of witness tampering, the case was brought to a standstill. But as Trey attempted to smother each case before anything could come of it, the accusations just kept rolling in. At Trey Songs, you forced me to do something and threw my phone off of the balcony. Refused to let me and another younger girl go, wrote Selena Powell in a 2020 tweet. Later on, she doubled down in an interview with No Jumper. Trey Songs. He admitted to it, basically, too. I never posted the police report. I feel like he did it, like, for like a spite reason because he also like threw my phone off the balcony and did like a bunch of other up he took our phones like he would not let us leave like literally would not let us leave Wait, for so, a whole entire day so you we go were to stuck the at his house he like locked me in the bathroom that's when what happened happened and so soon selena's friend eliza came out with a similar story that much like kareen stephens had also claimed suggested that trey had a particularly unpalatable fetish and then he literally just like that and i was like what the f on my eyelashes and he's like you're fine Trey. every i know that him says the same he took my phone and my purse away for like a whole day held it over the balcony was like if you try and leave i'm gonna drop this I'm at the turn of 2021 las vegas basketball player dylan gonzalez recounted her own story after she physically couldn't take any more with what seems like endlessly reoccurring news of the alleged sexual committed by Trey Songs, I'm forced to repeatedly relive in my mind and suffer anew the long suppressed horror and unbearable PTSD of my by his very hands at a well-known Las Vegas hotel. Gonzalez's statement read, I want to send my love, strength, and hope to all who are victims of sexual and its fatal nature. You are not alone. Courtesy of the cautionary tale that we'd received with R. Kelly, it should come as no surprise that, even though Trey was recently cleared of the latter, the world is now wondering how the R&B singer could have been allowed to hide in plain sight for so long, and similarly, how this monstrous behavior even manifested. In the eyes of some, it seems as though he bought into the notion that he was a sex symbol so much so that he believed it gave him carte blanche to do what he wanted when he wanted. Just because you're this guy that some women has thrown themselves at before doesn't mean that every woman wants that type of energy. That's what happens with a lot of these celebrities and public figures. They think because 300 other women are waiting at my hotel and they're trying to get in my room and in my DMs and women throw themselves at me all the time that I can just be this aggressive guy to all women. Even if you've done that with a girl before, that doesn't mean she wants that right now. Yeah. She's feeling that way right now. We spoke about it before. It may make it awkward. It's an awkward conversation to have, but you have to be very clear with the woman you're approaching and letting them know, listen, I'm sexually attracted to you. Are you feeling this vibe? No, if not, cool. Because then you end up with allegations mm -hmm. and like this. And once this is on your name, I don't know Trey personally, but once it's on your name, even if you're found innocent, people will still always look at you in a certain light. Trey seems to be prepared to defend himself. Trey definitely replied with, I don't know if that means much at all with text messages showing a woman wanting you. These text messages just didn't tell me much at all. He's just one of the few people that is ready right away to talk about it. But while Rory and Mal initially seemed willing to give him the benefit of the doubt and maintain that he was innocent until proven guilty, it appears that any shred of uncertainty is long gone. In 15 years, however the f long it's gonna be, that Trey Songs doc is gonna be crazier than the R. Kelly one. Trey Songs is the most nasty, abusive, beats the out of women. Like he is the scum of the earth if you ever thought you could surpass an r kelly doc i promise you in 15 years trey songs his doc will he's an awful human being and somebody is gonna knock him the f out this isn't one story this is personal that i know with i'm not even exaggerating I, close to 15 to 20 women all with the exact same experience that i know not to be liars at all i'm not talking about the charges that he was charged with i'm talking about my personal experience with women that i know personally he's a awful human being Despite the fact that the pair usually agree on very little, academics echoed Rory's comments, essentially painting Trey's conduct as though it were an open secret within the industry that many of Trey's peers chose to ignore. 
I honestly feel that Trey Song is going to end up in shackles because there's just too many women. Again, I, I have no idea what's his body count, how many women he's dealt with, but they all have the same story. The thing is, y'all haven't heard the other part of the story yet. Wait till everybody's telling the story about Trey. Start mentioning the strap on story. When I hear 10 chicks, when they all tell me the same story, I'm like, I fear for whatever his legacy is, and I fear for his actual freedom. I'm telling you this right now. They all tell me the same stories until shackles get slapped on somebody or until there's some big documentary that comes out. Everybody's going to act like they don't hear it. With Insecure Sarunas S. Jackson claiming that he tried to press women but would run for men, it seems that the scales have tipped, and even Trey appears to have acknowledged that something has fundamentally shifted. Ever since Christmas 2021, around the time that Dylan Gonzalez made her first accusation, Trey has laid low across all social media, knowing that any post he makes will come with an influx of comments, and not the kind that he wants to see. And while it's likely that some people will be able to put their feelings aside when he next releases music, there's a large sector of the listening public who will have cast him aside from here on out. No matter what happens, Trey will have to walk on eggshells, as he may be about to learn that no amount of money or fame will allow you to outrun your misdeeds forever. As when your image is built on what many have alleged to be a lie, it only takes something to finally stick for everything to come tumbling down.